what you see here is a good old Google Analytics dashboard. And I have to say, I don't like it very much. For me, it's too cumbersome, it's too cluttered, and it's hard to find the information that is suitable for me. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to show you another option. The one you see on the screen right now. The same information displayed in a simple way. I can see my visitors, page views, average time on page. I can easily take a look at the SEO information, user engagement. I can create all sorts of reports. I can even create a custom report, connect my site with a Google search console. And this way I can even see what is the average position in the search engines. Also, if I use WooCommerce, I can connect it to my dashboard. I can see the conversion rate, orders, lost revenue, that is abandoned carts. I can see how my products are performing and so on. So if you're interested, then jump in. Now the app we're going to use today is called Piwik Pro and I put the link to it in the video description. So as you see, it has been used by Microsoft, Worth, TKMS and so on. Maybe you don't know, but if you're using Google Analytics, then it doesn't comply with the regulations with in EU, for example, GDPR, but Piwik Pro covers your privacy compliance, as you see on the screen right now. And if you take a look at the pricing, then you'll see that for free, you'll get up to half a million monthly actions, 14 months data retentions, safe EU cloud, and three modules, that is analytics, tag manager, and content manager. But if you need more, then you can choose the enterprise plan and contact with a support team and get your quote. But I'm pretty sure that free plan is more than enough for 95% of the websites over there. So let's create an account. Next, I'm going to add my website address here. But you don't have to worry because you can add many websites using one account. So I'm going to add this one. This is my demo site. I'm going to add an account name. I agree to the terms and privacy policy and create my free account. Now I'm going to go to my email inbox, confirm the email, and then the account will be set up. I'm going to add my password here. And now as you see, I'm logged in, which means it's time to add our first site. But first you'll see that Buick Pro created you a demo site, which allows you to see what's happening over here, reports and so on. I'm going to open up this menu here, go to the administration, click on this site and delete it. The less clutter I have here, the better. Next, I'm going to add a site. So let's add a site or app, site or app name, address, and OK. There it is. Now let's connect it with the WordPress. And this time you have two options. First, open up install manually and copy this code to your site. If you're not a tech savvy person, then you're going to use a WordPress plugin. That is, log into your site, go to plugins, add new, and search for Pivik Pro. This one here. Install it. Now activate it. Then go to the settings, Pivik Pro. And next you'll need a container address and site ID. Where can you get those? This one here is your container address, and this one here is your site ID. So, copy it, paste it here, copy the container address, paste it here, select containers, basic container, this will hold the tracking code and is used to handle most tags. There is also additional container, take a look at the description, add this container if you want to use sync tags, it loads tags before the page content loads. Now save changes. And nothing else to configure here. Next, I'm going to test whether it works. I'm going to go to the site and you'll see that there is a consent manager box over here. This comes from the Pivik Pro itself. So let's see where it is. There is a privacy tab here and you'll see that ask visitors for a consent. If you don't want to display this on your site, then just deactivate it. If you would like to use a custom consent form, then activate this one here. 
and here you can also configure your consent settings here. At the moment I'm going to deactivate it, save it, refresh the page and it's gone. Next you can choose whether to use a session ID or use visitor cookies. At first on my site when I tested it out I used both Google Analytics and Pivik Pro side by side and I discovered that if this here is activated then the Pivik Pro Analytics is a bit messed up so I deactivated it. Test it for a couple of days and if you see that the analytics is not what it should be then either activate it or deactivate this one here. So I'm going to save it and let's see what else do we have here. Next let's configure your site settings. So this is your site address, next time zone. I'm in Tallinn, that is Europe. Currency is Euro. Now scroll depth, that is the Pivik Pro will measure how far your visitors are scrolling your pages. If you don't want this to be measured then deactivate it, but I'm going to leave it as this. I'm going to leave it as it is also the keywords. I'm going to use global settings here. If you're using campaigns then those are the campaign name parameters here. If you want to add something else then just add them here. Nothing else to configure for me here, therefore I'm going to go up, take a look at the reports. If you would like to display the e-commerce reports, then activate this one here, I'm going to do that. I don't use a SharePoint, therefore I'm not going to activate this one. Next, under the permissions, there is nothing else for me to configure. And the installation guide, we already used it. Now all this was about the site settings, but as you see there is also meta sites and apps. You can add those here. There is a users menu, you can add users to your sites and connect them with a specific sites. For example, I'm going to add a user, send the invitation and I can grant the access to the modules, analytics, tag manager, consent manager, administration and so on. Next, if I open up the sites and my demo site, under the permission, I can grant this user the access to either view, edit, edit or publish or manage this site. If I want to delete this user, I can do that here. In a similar way, you can create user groups and add users to the groups. And you can configure global site and app settings here. For data collection and privacy, you can add them here. You can configure your opt-out form. You can take a look at the subscription plans you have. Currently I have free plan. I can add up to 10 sites, data retentions, actions this month. You can see all the information here. And if you would like to delete your account, you can do it also here. And there is an audit log, which displays what has been done on your site and who did it. And this basically concludes the settings part. Now let's take a look at the analytics part. And in order to take a look at the analytics, open up the menu and go to the an analytics tab here. As you see, it says no data on dashboards yet. Dashboards helps. But first install the container, blah, blah, blah. If you already installed it as we did, then as you see, it says data will appear in reports in about an hour. Data and the tracker debugger will appear instantly. So where is the tracker debugger? Either click here or go to the settings and tracker debugger here. And you'll see that there are a bunch of page, page views already here. Show next events. You'll see that cart update, someone purchased something, revenue and so on. All this information will appear a bit later on our dashboard and all your dashboards are here. Paid media, marketing, SEO, website performance, user engagement, and you can add your own dashboards here or configure the dashboards. For example, let's take a look at the marketing performance overview. If you would like to customize it, then click on add a widget. For example, maybe map. Give it the title, locations, dimension, country, subdivision, city, or continent, let's select country here. 
to plot the chart, you need at least one metric and one dimension. So, dimension we already have, country. Now let's add a dimension here, that is visitors. Drag it here. No data available, it's because there are no users on our site yet, but it will show you something like this here. Add widget. It's here. If you would like to rearrange your dashboard, just drag as you like and choose a size if needed. You can create also your own dashboard. Just click Add Dashboard, Add Title, for example, Full Overview. Select who sees this, all users or only yourself, whether it's all sites and apps or only for this page here. Save it. And now just add widgets. For example, line chart. Metric to calculate is visitors. You can add widget name if needed. Add whatever information that it you need. Add a widget. And done. If you need to edit it, just edit. Add whatever it is you need to show here. And once again done. Add another one, for example, pie chart. Once again, repeat the process. Rearrange as you like and you're good to go. If there are some favorite dashboards, then you can just mark them with a star so they appear up here. Under the reports, you'll see all the reports. At the moment, it's empty, but I'm going to open up one of my own sites so you can see what's happening here. So dashboards, this is my custom dashboard I created. I added visitors, page views, average time on page. If you would like to see what are the settings, so metrics to calculate is page views, show metric name, show trends, spark line, and so on. Here I can choose the time frame, last month for example, or current months, or custom date, average sessions, bounce rate, page views in sessions, I added a location, impressions, returning visitors, average position, and so on. This is my full overview that will give me the most important metrics I would like to see. These are the default ones that has been added here. I can see all the websites and the performance of the websites if I open it up. And I, I can even see the breakdowns what has happened on this site here. Under the reports, you can see all the information by section for example, session log, devices. So what do I see here is that 89% of the users visiting my site are doing that from the desktop. Mobile only 8% and all others even less. I can take a look at the locations. I can see the engagement information, new versus returning, custom dimensions. If I need to create them, I can do it here. Now, if we click on the Google Search Console, then you can integrate your site with Google Search Console. Just click here, connect your site. I'm not going to do it here, but it's really easy. It opens up a pop-up and you can just connect your site here. You can also integrate with Google Ads if needed. You can create custom reports here. Just add a report, choose a type, for example, this one here add the information you need to add to the report, create it, and you're good to go. You can set up the goals. For example, if you're selling products and you would like to see how many of the users are ending up on the thank you page, then just add a goal, give it a name, track it automatically, visit page with URL, URL contains thank you, and save it if needed. This way you can measure how many users who are entering your shop are purchasing something and end up on a thank you page. Under the integration you'll see a bunch of interrogations that it has.
And under the settings, you can add the segments, dimension value grouping, custom dimensions, calculated metrics, and so on. You can schedule reports, set up alerts. Under the tracker debugger, you'll see whether everything is working on your site or not. If you have more than one site, then all the sites are here. I can switch them. Sure. Previous site didn't have a e-commerce integration. This one has, so I can see that there are four orders, conversion rate, revenue, average order value, three abandoned cards that these three users added something to the cart but did not complete the order that is lost revenue here. You can see the order list, products, days and sessions to purchase, customer loyalty, since the data is gathered from my demo site, then the numbers are low here, I know, but it's just for you to see what is happening here. Session logs, once again, and all the other information that we had before. Behavior on the pages, abandoned cards. You'll see products in abandoned cards. You can analyze what's happening over here if needed. If you have been using the Google Tag Manager, then Pivik Pro allows you to do similar things. Just go to the menu tag manager and you can add a tag choose what type of tag it is as you see custom content custom dimension heat maps goal conversion custom event pop-up tracking code virtual page view ad roll video tracking youtube video tracking and so on google ads hotjar analytics hubspot linkedin bunch of cool stuff here and this way you can add the tags to your site you can add triggers, variables, meta setup. You can see the change log, what has been done here, settings, and so on. Now let's see whether the analytics already started to work. Yes, it has. As you see, one visitor, 14 page views, bounce rate, location. This is a marketing performance dashboard. Now there is one more thing I would like to cover in this video, and this is documentation and support. If you go to the Pivik Pro site, you'll see there is a menu called resources. Take a look at the content library, help center, it's full of documentation for beginners, advanced analysts, tag manager, and so on. Take a look at the community forum, there are a bunch of question asks, and you will find that there are a bunch of topics that will cover the questions you may have. If there are no questions asked, then just post your own question and usually you will get answer either from the users or from the support team. And this basically covers all what I wanted to show you today. As you see, really easy to use Google Analytics alternative. I have been using it almost a year now. And since I don't enjoy using Google Analytics, I have deactivated it on my sites. Now, before you go, wait. If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here. And take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.